What's going on guys, my name is Josh, also known as G1Hexatron, and this is going to be my 100th video. Now since I've never shown off my collection on this channel, I thought I would kind of share that with you. I thought it would be something kind of special and uh, kind of show you what I've been able to obtain over the 15, 16 months that I've been a collector. Now you guys that have been collecting a lot longer than me, your collection is probably going to be a lot bigger. And if you collect classic or prime figures and things like that, your collection is probably going to be a lot bigger than mine as well just because uh, the figures are a little bit cheaper. Now I also collect other things other than Transformers, but we will get into those in the last part of the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at, first off, the G1 Autobots. And for you guys that watch the Cybercast, you kind of noticed that uh, I kind of redid uh, my shelves here a little bit. So I'm, it's still a work in progress, but this is kind of the way that I have it set up for right now. But I have all the G1 Dinobots, and they're all 100% complete. You see that I have a couple of G2 Dinobots there, but those are from my brother's childhood, so they're actually missing their weapons and uh, missing like one piece of their tail or something like that. Uh, then I also have some Action Masters here. And then you can see that we have G1, G2, Sideswipe, Smokescreen, Prowl, Blue Streak. Uh, then over here we have Jazz, Tracks, Skids, Hoist, Grapple, and Inferno. Uh, then over here we have Metroplex in his base mode, uh, you know, along with uh, Scamper and uh, Slammer. Then you also have Wind Charger back there, and then you also have an Optimus Prime that's the world's smallest uh, clear version. Uh, then looking over here, you can see that I've got the Encore Fort Max, and he's just kind of standing on his box, so he is definitely a lot taller than what you see him right there. That's pretty much just at the hips, but I figured that was a decent way of displaying him other than just setting him on the floor. Uh, then you can also see that I have uh, the Transformer G2 GoBot. So uh, they actually named that guy GoBot after Transformers or Hasbro obtained the license. Uh, then you have some Beast Wars back there in the corner that I don't know any of their names. I think one of them is Optimus Primal, but you guys that know me know that I don't really pay attention to anything made after 1990. Uh, then you have Rekgar, Perceptor, Skylynx, Omega Supreme, Hot Rod, Punch, Counterpunch. You have God Jinrai. Rodimus Prime, which is probably one of the worst Transformers ever made. Blur Cup, uh, the two Autobot clones, so you have Fastlane and Cloudraker there. Sandstorm, Computron, or all five Technobots, whichever way you want to prefer. Um, Superion, or the Aerobots, Blaster. Uh, down here you have this little uh, thing that came out in the 80s that you stick it in your mouth and it made you sound like a Transformer, but it's kind of nasty now. Uh, then you have the Jump Starters, uh, I think it's... Twin Twist and uh, Top Spin and Twin Twist, yes. Okay, and then you have some of the Pretenders. Uh, ser I have two of the Series 1s here. So you have uh, Wave Runner, or Wave Runner, I think it's Wave Runner to be correct. Uh, Cloud Burst, and this is a Series 2, so I have no idea what his name is, but he is kind of rare. Uh, then you have the Bumblebee, and then whatever that little two-headed guy is. I forget his name. Now coming over here to the G1 Decepticons, and you can see that I have Double Dealer back here, or Double Clouder. Uh, I have him in his Decepticon mode, but if I put him in Autobot, or the uh, robot form, he would have been on the Autobot shelf, so that's kind of why I did that. Then you have uh, G1 Shockwave, and then you have Fans Projects, like little World's Smallest Shockwave there, named Quake. You have the World's Smallest Nemesis Prime, I'll just make sure this focuses in. You have the little World's Smallest Soundwave, and some of the other little figures here. Uh, some glow-in-the-dark ones, but if you hold them too close to light, then it actually kind of burns them, as you can kind of see. So, uh, not really a very cool gimmick whenever it actually damages the product. Then you have some Action Masters here, some of the Monstructors. And then you have some Firecons. I believe I'm missing one of those. Uh, G1 Galvatron. And there's a Megatron up there. Uh, this is a pre-orange tip. Six-Shot Trypticon. Uh, Scorponok. And then you have some of the Series 1 Pretenders that were actually in the Super Guy Master Force show. You have um, Bomber, some Martyr, and uh, Skullgrin, or you can call them by their Japanese names if you like. Then you have Cyclonus and Scourge, or Scourge, however you prefer you want to say it. Also have a Target Master uh, Cyclonus back there as well. Then you have the 25th Anniversary Unicron. Uh, Piranicon, all six figures. I just put the one figure in his backpack because I think it looks a little bit cooler. Uh, then a random Ripper Snapper and a G2, I believe it's Scavenger. Uh, I might be wrong there. Uh, then you have Devastator with some upgrade parts. Minasaur, Predaking, Bominus, and Bruticus. 
And let's see down here, you the middle line, you have Ramjet, Thrust, Thundercracker, Starscream, Skywarp, and Dirge. And you have G1 Soundwave, then the reissue Soundwave. You also have Buzzsaw, Ravage, and Laserbeak. World's smallest Astro Train, and then you have G1 Astro Train, and then the Takara Collection White version Astro Train, and Bloodswing, and the three Insecticons, or the original three there. Uh, I believe it's Kickback, Bomb, or, uh, Bombshell, and uh, Shrapnel. Only reason I wanted to say their names is because I always like see other people's collections, um, you know videos and stuff like that and there's always like a ton of people in there like what was the guy you know at this time this way you can just refer to what I said uh, then my masterpiece collection which is uh, kind of growing you know I plan on getting the uh, Hasbro version of Soundwave so that's why you don't see any of his little cassettes except for Laserbeak there uh, also getting the Acid Storm and you know all the other ones that they said they're gonna release then you have MP11 Thundercracker, obviously Takara version Soundwave there. You also have the Hasbro version MP08 Grimlock, MP10 Optimus Prime, and I also have his Repro Label upgrade sheet, so you can see a little bit of it there with his trailer. A few random GI Joes back there. You also have Sideswipe and Red Alert. There's a MP01 Optimus Prime Battle Damage that's still mint and sealed box. And coming around to the third party shelf, I've got the Make Toys Green Giant. Then I have Fans Projects, uh, Chrome Dome, Headmaster there. Then Perfect Effects, um, was it Reflector, USB Ravage. You can see that I got a random Generations Warpath in there. Just because that's the only Generations figure that I plan on keeping because he's just so awesome. I think he's really that good. Uh, then I have the Classics Ultra Magnus with the Fans Project Upgrade Armor. The three Fans Project Stunicons so far. The Fans Project uh, Insecticons. Hasbro's Bruticus Maximus with the Fans Project Upgrade set. And then back here you can kind of see the Impossible Toys uh, TFCon 2010 exclusive Nightbird, which is just, um, should be named Nightmare because that thing will just, that's why it's in box. It will fall apart in your hand. It's that horrible. So no wonder that company's actually going out of business. Then you have some things that are non Transformer related. You've got some Starcom that I, I don't remember if I've done a review on any of this stuff before. But if you'd like to see any of it, you know, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to put it up. I, you know, I've loved Starcom. It was one of those things that my parents always bought me Transformers, but when I go to a friend's house and I saw they had Starcom, I was like, dude, let's play with this. This is awesome. So really, really cool stuff. Uh, then I almost have a complete collection of these guys. These are called Air Raiders. You can see that I've got doubles of a few things. A lot of little guys here. And the bad guys down here were called the Warriors of Wind. So I'm only missing two things with this. Uh, I'm missing the little base for the Air Raiders. And also the Man of War, which is like the really big ship. Like this one right here, it looks big. It's like twice that big. So I'm missing those two things. Otherwise, this will be complete versus any type of you know, mellow away or, you know, prototype things I'm, you know, I'm missing as well. Uh, coming down here, you can see that I picked up a couple of things from uh, BotCon 2012. So, and I've got those uh, printed and everything. So it just kind of makes the room look a little bit nicer there. And another little picture there as well. You move this out of the way. Uh, then I've also kind of fell in love with these little Creon or Creo micro changers, uh, as you can see them right here. Uh, let me make sure this focuses in. There we go, focus. So I've got all but uh, four of the newest series. I've got all the little combiners and stuff like that. Uh, just missing, you know, four of them uh, that are in this current wave. Uh, then I got a few of the GI Joe ones. Only wanted to pick up the. Cobra, just because those are the only ones I like. I don't care about the GI Joes. Decepticon hat that my buddy bought me. Then you can see that I've got, I believe, yes, every single one of the Beast Saga figures, which is basically the new Battle Beast by Takara, except for I do not have the translucent ones. And I, I'm wondering when I'm going to start seeing them come out with a few more of these. As you can see, the like right here, these three rows are supposed to be the uh, the C faction, 
and then you have the Sky Faction, which is only, uh, was it, eight guys? And then these are all Land Faction, which is uh, a huge majority of them. They need to kind of spread it out a little bit more. Then down here, I've got, you know, Mighty Mugs that I plan on selling because I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I must have been drinking or something like that. But I ended up buying, like, this huge lot of Mighty Mugs. And you see that I got a few doubles in here. But, uh, yeah, if anyone wants to buy these or wants one of the ones that I have doubles of, then, you know, let me know. A uh, few things that I am selling soon. Uh, you know, I got the Viacon and a couple of Generation figures there. Uh, that's actually the, uh, what is it, Transformer Collector's Club. Uh, run amok figure I have a few predators that i decided i didn't want and we'll kind of come over to those you can see that i kept a few of them uh because i think they look cool i just you know i don't i'm not one of those people that i need you know 30 freaking predator figures i like the arnold one and i do plan on getting the robocop uh robocop ed i think 209 is what it is from the uh the original one because i think that's cool and it'll look cool with them but uh, just just didn't feel like I needed a million uh, Predator figures. And close that door. Then I'm also a big fan of the Michael Keaton Batman film. So anything that is really after the Michael Keaton films, I'm not a big fan of. But uh, I do love his stuff. Um, not really the the old '60s stuff, but just his stuff. And here's all these figures. And I figured one day I might do a review on those. I'm not going to open them up, but I'll bring them down and kind of show off some of the differences. And just kind of give you guys a closer detailed look. Uh, there's some more down here on the side. And you just kind of get a look at all those. I'm not going to see all their names. They're printed on there. Uh, there's the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I forget which year it is, but uh, it's pretty rare, and it's really, really a great Batman. I had to pick it up. Uh, there are a couple other vintage Batman things there. Uh, then I have the Bat-Jet and the Hot Wheels uh, 118th scale diecast uh, Batmobile. I, I ended up picking up those DC Universe uh, classic figures just because I, I like the blue and gray Batman, so... Uh, a couple of things that, you know, I plan on selling just because Superman, Shazam stuff, Blue Superman. Uh, just because I'm not a big Superman fan, you know. I do like that new movie, but I mainly bought this lot of six just because of that guy right there. You know, blue and gray Superman. And that, that one's pretty cool too. Nightfall Batman. The Ninja Turtle Classics, I, uh, I, I really dig those. Those look really cool. And I got some like little world's smallest ones up there, I guess, my buddy gave me. And I got space down here for Rock City, Bebop, or Shredder, whoever they decide they want to give to us. Then there's the new Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles there. And some things that some most people probably don't know of. Uh, King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. Uh, they, Mattel only released, I believe, five of these figures. I've got two of them, two of the bad guys here. Uh, these go for quite a bit of money on eBay, so I uh, ended up picking them up for pretty cheap, though. Uh, they're in really good condition, men on card. Uh, Kobe Bryant fan, uh, so obviously I had to get a whatever type of toy of Kobe Bryant. Then you also have the Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves figures. Uh, I've got doubles of a couple of them. I'm only missing three and, you know, the little bases and stuff like that. But as you can kind of see with these, uh, they're all, you know, men on card, but they're also unpunched as well, except for that one right there. And then I ended up picking these up from uh, Toys R Us just because I, I thought they looked cool. And I've never seen them again. Uh, Darth Vader, where he actually kind of like electrocutes himself. I thought that was really cool. And the... Uh, Stormtrooper or Sand Trooper there and I had to get that just because it's Bruce Willis. I'm a Bruce Willis fan uh, Then I also have a, another picture of Soundwave there. Didn't know where else to put that so um, that kind of works I guess Then looking at Move this chair out of the way here. I've got a lot of these little die cast figures uh, from uh, Ertl and you see from the Batman Returns, some of them are reuses of the original Batman. Uh, but these are, you know, licensed for Batman Returns. 
Then, a uh, big fan of Captain Power. Uh, so you can see that I've got some stuff in on card. Uh, this is actually a Series 2. I've got actually a loose one of her. And then I have two Scout Bakers here that are part of Series 2. Uh, there is the Power On Energizer. And I also had a spare Captain Power figure, so I ended up put him there. And I just left him in a box. One of the tapes, the Power Jet XT7. Some of uh, the little figures here, and I've got all their weapons and things like that. And all the electronics work for all these guys, which is really cool. And there's a couple of the bad guys. Uh, I think that thing's called the Dread Stalker, and this is the Phantom Striker. So I, I did do one review on the Power On Energizer. It didn't seem like it was watched by anyone, to be quite honest. So I was planning on doing reviews on all the stuff. So if you guys want to see any of that, let me know. I'll put it up. And here's another line that I really enjoyed, uh, the Sectars, which did not last very long. I think there was only four episodes and like six comics released for these guys before they were yanked. Uh, they actually started coming in uh, to KB Toys on clearance. But I uh, almost have every single one of them. The things that I'm missing is I'm missing uh, Night Fight Dargon, which is part of Series 2. He's the only figure released for Series 2. Uh, which is basically this guy, the second version of him. Uh, they were going to release a Series 2 of um, General Spydrax, but they ended up not doing it. He did not make it to production, so the only one that came out was this guy. And so I'm missing, I have all his weapons, but I'm missing his little orange thing. Every time I find one, he always has the broken wings. And as you can see, I've got you know wings on all my little things. This guy's kind of hard to find because his wings are easily breakable as well. Uh, same with all these other guys. And the other thing that I'm missing is his tarantula. And I think his weapons as well. Yeah, I need his weapons and his tarantula. So I'll have that. And then their big base called the Hive, which is like enormous. Then we have some Super Robot Shigokan figures. Uh, you have Galgaigar, uh, Big Volfog, and Mike Gain. And I kind of used the box for King X Kaiser Masterpiece here as the display piece because I thought it looked nice. There he is, X Kaiser and King X Kaiser. And then you got some like little minifigures down here. And one of my favorite movies of all time, and I, I heard a few months ago that Val Kilmer said that Willow 2 is coming soon. So if that's true, I can't wait for it. But I do have the little two headed dragon. I forget, it says on the box what it's called, but uh, to be honest, I can't pronounce that. So I'm not even going to try. But that thing is like super rare. Uh, you hardly ever see it on eBay, and if you do, uh, it's actually quite expensive for what it originally went for, $4.97. Then I kind of have, I think, all but two figures here, but I kind of have them in like a little battle scene, which is kind of cool. And last but not least, I have the Wayne Manor from Batman Returns uh, lineup, which was actually from my childhood, so he's missing all his little stuff. I'll have to get that eventually. Uh, a Mr. T that actually the voice box does work, and the Mezco 15-inch, uh, I think they're 15-inch, uh, Lino, which is pretty nice looking, and the Mumra, which is really cool. I like those guys. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And, um, you know, uh, maybe later I'll do another collection update in maybe like six months or something, kind of show you just things that are brand new instead of doing the whole thing all over again. But if there's anything that I haven't done and you would like to see it soon, especially something that maybe not that's non-related Transformers, definitely let me know and I'll get on it. Talk to you later, guys, and have a good day.